Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And as you can see, we have another mail day. I can see the cards right there. And there's one really, 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 really cool card in this mail day. I think if it's the one that I think it is, and it combines fantastically with this dude with the Tim. So gonna open it. And it's actually gonna be my first copy of this card. It, it's an enchantment from Legends. That's all I'm gonna say. Let me have a little peek inside. Let's see. Ooh, it's packed very well. Look at this. There's even a receipt. Look at that. Very professional. And here we see one of the cards. Um, the rocket launcher. And this is going to be my third copy of the Rocket Launcher. I think it's, it's a pretty useful card in certain decks. It can be useful, especially one of the cool things about the Rocket Launcher is that every time when you pay two, you can choose a new target and the Rocket Launcher uh, goes away at the end of the turn. So it stays in play the whole time. So you can like literally during the turn, you can shoot. Oh, you can shoot like bam, bam, bam for two mana. So if you have a lot of mana, it can really Really, you can really hose down a lot of cards of your of your opponent. Uh, obviously, it's nice in Tron together with the Candelabra, but it's also pretty useful. For example, when you play a color with, without a lot of, you know, direct damage or removal. For example, in green, where you do have a lot of mana ramp, uh, but you just don't have a lot of ways to uh, get rid of creatures or or actually to do direct damage. So then, this can be a really good card. But also in um, in mono blue, I found in mono blue it could be quite useful. Of course, you have side blast in mono blue, but yeah, it can be a good card. And here we see another card. Now, who doesn't remember Emerald Dragonfly after uh, that great final of the Raging Bull series? That's actually gonna appear on the channel, by the way, if you keep an eye on the channel. Maybe when I post this, it's already uh, it has already been on the channel. I'm just thinking that now because I'm not sure when I'll put this video online. Uh, okay, so where to start with this stack or this stack? Um, I'm gonna start with the Emerald Dragonfly, why not? Okay, so Emerald Dragonfly, one green one, it's a one one flyer for uh, for two, and uh, flying, and you can pay two for us to give it a first strike until end of turn. Now you see this card being used every once in a while in Pendlehaven decks. Of course, it's a one one, I can tap Pendlehaven, make it a two three, then if I have a Wailuli Wolf, I can even make it a 3-4 and remember it has flying and it also has that first strike potential. So with all that added, it, it's actually a pretty decent card. Okay, so um, Emerald Dragonfly, another copy here of Emerald Dragonfly. Oh yes, I'm really, I mean, if you follow the channel a little bit, I'm, I really like um, Evil Pre Presence and Lost Soul being a Swamp Orker for three. I mean, it's, it's, it's it's a bit costly on the casting cost, but I think it can be a useful card if you just make, you know, an Evil Presence deck. Very, very cool art. Very cool art. By Esplund Faith. And there we go. Next card is another one, another Lost Soul. And is this another Lost Soul? Yes, it is. And another one. So I've got a full play set here of Lost Souls. That's pretty cool. Full play set of Lost Souls. And then we've got Wall of Earth. The nice thing about all these cards, I think, in my opinion, they're playable in specific decks. Um, and they're also very cheap. So I've got a Wall of Earth. I think I already had a Wall of Earth. The nice thing is here you see like the creature trapped in the wall. And that pretty much means it's gotta be by Richard Thomas. Let's take a look, yes. Because Richard Thomas in all his walls, he's got a mage trapped in there or a creature trapped in there. There's always something trapped. So definitely, um, it's definitely worth your time, I think, to just go through all the Richard Thomas walls and to try to find uh, all the creatures that are trapped in the wall. And Wall of Earth for one red and one, it's just an 0-6, so you get six toughness for two mana. I mean, that's pretty good. And of course, unfortunately, I don't own that card, but with a Diamond Valley, it's just great because it's and six life and it can hold the creatures of your opponent at bay. And 
when you need to, you can you can get the six life from it. So pretty useful card. Um, let's see, the next one is another Wall of Earth. I think I already have one Wall of Earth, so that means I now have a play set. And now let's see, the last card, oh, the last card is just some modern protection. Always good when people do that, just to protect the cards. So we've got here, you can see that we've got four Lost Souls, we've got two Emerald Dragonflies and three Wall of Earths. And let's see what else do we have. So we've got Rocket Launcher here. And okay, Kirsten Kaman made this one. Interesting, it's a green card, obviously, something with next turn. And it's Titania's Song. So it's actually my second Antiquities copy of this card. I do have four revised ones, but this is my second Antiquities copy. I'm really a big fan. You see this card more often. Um, you can do a lot of funny stuff with it. The nice thing, by the way, is if Titania's Song leaves play, artifacts return to normal just before the untap phase of the next turn. So even if an opponent, like in response, says, I'm gonna disenchant your, your song, your artifacts have already uh, trans transformed into creatures and those of your opponent as well. So you still have that whole turn to do something with them. It takes until the next untap phase of the next turn uh, before they turn back to normal, so. Really nice art. Actually, for the people that don't know, it's one green and three. It's from the Antiquities in Shaman. It reads, all non-creature artifacts in play lose all their usual abilities and become artifact creatures with toughness and power, both equal to the casting cost. If Titania Song leaves play, artifacts return in normal just before the untap step. Yeah, so Titania Song. And we put it next to my rocket launcher. As you probably know, I kind of save uh, Antiquities cards, it's, it's my favorite set. Uh, talking about favorite sets, Revised, man, that's that's where that's where my history is. So Lord of Atlantis, look at this beautiful, beautiful Lord of Atlantis. This is going actually in my collection and I've ordered a few more because what I love to do is actually building uh, Revised only decks. And if you want to play blue, you need Lord of Atlantis for that. So we've got three, oh, oh, I'm spoiling the card already. We've got three Lord of Atlantises, and then we're gonna talk about this card, but the three Lord of Atlantises will um, will make my play set complete, so then I have four revised Lord of Atlantis. And this is the card, let me get it. We're just gonna pretend we didn't see it yet. Here it comes, ooh, comes up, comes up, comes up. And it's zooming in, look at that art. Let me just put the other card away. Look at that art. Wow. I mean, this card, are you serious? How cool is this card? I mean, the trees there are attacking, attacking the soldier there with the big ax. You can see the big ax here, but he's he doesn't stand a chance. Living plane, enchant world from legends, two green and two. Treat all land in play as both as both lands and 1-1 one, one creatures. They may not be tapped for mana the first turn they are brought into play because they have summoning sickness, of course. How cool. And of course, you've got the classic combo with the Timmy. So I've, I've played against um, Avert, and uh, he's got a beautiful living playing deck. And yeah, we just had the best, like one of the best matches that I've had in old school since a long time. And yeah, I thought, okay, I have to get Living Plains. Now, unfortunately, they are pretty pretty expensive, so it's not a card that you, that I can just buy four offs from. Um, so I kind of have to save up, but I saw this card for, I believe, or actually I believe I know for, for 90 euro, and um, that was pretty affordable, so I just had to pick it up. And uh, I mean, you know, it's it's not in the best state, but actually it's not that bad. I mean, this was actually graded, I think, poor or something, but it's actually not that poor. I think it's 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 actually a pretty okay state. Is there something? I don't think it has any inking or, or any dents here on the card. There's a little bit of like surface wear, but wow. Really happy to own a copy. Hopefully this is going to be the first, the first of a uh, of a play set. That's what I want to work towards, and then of course make a living playing Timmy deck. Although 
I have for me there's like there's there's already Avid in our playgroup who plays Living Playing Timmy and that's really his one of his sweetheart decks, so I don't want to take that from him. But I mean, look how beautiful this card is. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. So I do hope to collect four of these, but it will definitely take a while. So Living Plane, and then there was that last card. It's not as spectacular because it's another Dragonfly. And I'm happy with that because again, Dragonfly, I already have one. With these three, I've got a full playset. So that's great. And talking about playsets, I think this whole mill day was pretty much about completing playsets. I've got Wall of Earth now, playset complete. I just bought four Lost Souls, because hey, why not? I, th I think it's a pretty useful creature. It's a two, one Swamp Walker. It can, it can be useful, and boom, three Lord of Atlantis is in beautiful condition. Wow, beautiful condition. And that means I've got four Lord of Atlantis as well. So I mean, that blue deck is definitely coming together, the revised blue deck. And then I've got more or less my loose cards, I guess you can say. And look at how beautiful these cards are. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. Wow. Very happy and <laughs> the living plane. What a fantastic kick-ass card. Uh, let me know what you think of the cards um, that I've purchased. Is there a favorite card or a favorite playset? set? Um, what do you think of living plane? Is there, are there any, any other ways to play with um, living plane than with, with Timmy? I'm sure there are. Probably many, but um, let me know. It's taking a little zip here. Um, let me know what you think of my meal day. And thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we um, where we open old school magic. And we, and we talk about it, of course. Um, if you want to support the show, you can do that by becoming a Patreon. There's probably a link popping up right now. And that link will, get, it will take you directly to my Patreon page, so you can check it out. Um, I'm actually now starting to do a lot of events as well with my patrons because we've got about uh, 50 plus patrons, so that means there is enough, for example, to organize tournaments, to organize all sorts of other uh, contests, and just to, you know, to to brew a lot and just have a lot of uh, have a lot of fun and games together. So uh, check it out. You know, if you're interested in that, it might be worth worth it to join and to sponsor the show. Um, you can also support the channel, of course, by leaving a like, uh, leaving a comment, and uh, sharing these movies on your socials. So thank you very much for watching, and let's go to the end scroll, and let's take a look at the fantastic, wonderful, amazing patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the Ik het als ik het als zomba kan zien.